Hello guys, welcome to this uh, Lab 5 demonstration video for MMCV211. This week we're trying to model and analyze a 2D continuous beam with distributed and point loads. With the aim of calculating the load factor if the maximum capacity of the cross section is limited to this is the formula for maximum moment where you're given your phi, your z value, and you have to find your allowable stress, which is given here, 350. And we will be using this bit of information as well as the maximum moment uh, from our analy uh, analysis to find the load factor. So figure one, we are given all the dimensions and the positions of all the loads and their quantities. And in figure two, we are given the cross-sectional dimensions. So to start uh, your ANSYS software, go down to Start menu, select the uh, ANSYS folder, and you scroll down until you find Mechanical APDL 2021 R1. Select that, and your software should open. Now we've uh, just opened a new, for, uh, a new project, so we'll go to File, and we'll change the job name. Set this to 2D Beam. and we'll change the title to 2D beam with distributed loads. Okay. Remember to save the path, so we'll go save as. We will select, type in lab5 and we will specify the directory as desktop and click OK and then select desktop again and click OK. If this pops up, you want to press you want to press yes. So now we've specified the file that we've created as well as the saving directories so we can start with the analysis. So step one is to set up all your preferences, set up your software. So we'll go to preferences, we'll select structural, click OK. In our commands prompt we will set the units, so slash units, comma, SI. See whether or not you've set the units to SI. You can select the output window and input units are also set to SI. This tells you that you have set all the units to SI units. Now we need to specify an element type that we want to use. So we'll go to preprocessor, element type, Add, edit, delete, and we'll add a new element type. We are looking at a beam, so we'll select beam and three node 189. Click OK. Then we can close this window. Now we've specified an element type we want to use. You have to give it some material properties, so we'll select material properties, material models. We'll select structural on the right linear, elastic, isotropic, and we'll enter our Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio, which are given in our handout. So 200 gigapascals and 0 0.3 Poisson's ratio. 200, E9. OK, and we can close this box. Now we've given the material properties, we have to specify a sectional uh, area of a cross-section of our beam. So we'll go to sections, beam, common sections, and you have the beam tool pop up on your right-hand side. In subtype, we will select hollow square tubing. And for our dimensions, we will get them directly from the handout. So our W dimension is 0 0.356. Sorry. 0 0.254. 0 0.356. Uh, 
all of your thicknesses. Once you've done that, you can click preview to see sectional properties such as your area, your second moment of inertia, or uh, second moment of area about y, z, so on and so forth. We can click OK. Now we've uh, defined our element type, the material properties, as well as the sectional properties. We can go about starting our modeling. So we'll go to modeling, create key points in active coordinate system, and we will enter each key point number by number, clicking in, apply in between. So key point one, the coordinates are given in your handout. We're only working in the XY plane, so we only enter the XY coordinates. And once we enter our last coordinate, we click OK. On your screen, you should have four key points defined. Now you want to create lines in between those key points. So we'll go to create, lines, lines again, in active chord. And we select line one, line two, line two, line three, line three to line four. Then we click to show the line numbers and key point numbers, we'll go up to control plots, numbering, and we'll turn on key point numbers as well as line numbers. We press OK. And to refresh, we'll go to plot and multi plots. You should have four key points and three lines clearly defined. Now, at this point, we want to specify the coordinate for where this point force is being applied. It's being applied at 3 meters from point A, and the total distance from A to B is 7. So we have to subdivide our line 1 by a ratio of 3 is to 7. So to do that, we'll go in, still in modeling, we'll go to operate, booleans, divide, and we will select lines with options. When this dialog box pops up, we'll select line one and click OK. Number of divisions that we want to make, we want to divide this line into two. And the ratio that we want to divide it by is three over seven. Then press OK. Plot and replot to refresh. So now we have four lines with an extra key point added uh, where we've uh, subdivided our, our initial line one. Once we've done this, we can start to apply our mesh. We have uh, clearly defined all of the geometry at this point. So now we want to start meshing. To do that, we'll close modeling and we'll go to meshing. In mesh attributes and default attributes, we just want to make sure that we are using the element type 189. We don't have to change anything here, we just press OK. Close mesh attributes, we'll go to mesh tool. On the mesh tool that pops up on your right, we're going to go to the second section, size controls. We'll select lines and click set. When it says to pick what lines you want to apply size controls to, we'll select pick all. And in our case, we want to divide each of these lines into segments of 0 0.1 meters, so 10 centimeters. 0 0.1 and click OK. See that your lines look like it's uh, divided into little dots. Those are the length of the segments that we've divided our, each of our lines into, 0 0.1 meters. Again, select Mesh Tool, and now we will mesh. So in the third section, we'll select Mesh. We'll pick all again, and now you should have a continuous blue line. That shows that you have, uh, you have successfully meshed your whole uh, beam according to the size control that we've set. Now you go to plots, multi-plots, and you can see all your line numbers again. Your single line is now white, and you have all your key points. 
So now we've done the meshing, we can go about applying our loads and our boundary conditions. So we'll go to loads, define loads, apply, structural, displacement. Now we want to apply displacements on key points. Let's select key point one first. Click OK. And the way that we want to the way that we want to uh, restrain key point one is in all directions except for rotation about the z axis. So x y z rotation x rotation y. We'll set the value to zero. And we'll click apply. Other points that we want to restrain are key points two at point B and key point three at point C. So we will select key point two and key point three. Okay. And we only want to restrain in the Y direction. So make sure Y is selected. The displacement value is set at zero. We click OK. So at this point, we have clearly defined the boundary conditions for this beam. Now we can go about applying forces and distributed loads. Remember in between steps, go to File, Save As, select the file that you've saved, and click OK. This will pop up. Do you want to replace? You select Yes. Now, next step is to apply our forces. So still in structural, we'll go to force moment on key points and we select key point five. Apply OK. Direction of the force, we want it to be in the Y direction. And the value, we will set this to negative 50,000 newtons. Click OK. Now for our distributed loads, we will apply a pressure. So close force in moment, we'll select pressure on beams. In the selection box, we'll select box. And we will click, drag, and select everything from key point one to key point two. Once that's done, you click OK. In the load key, we'll enter two. And for the value, we will select 200 E. Now the load key uh, can be found if you search uh, ANSYS, beam, uh, ANSYS element beam 189. It'll, the load key is for different faces of the beam. So entering a load key 2 will mean that we're applying this amount of pressure on the negative Y face of the beam. If you want a further definition, I recommend that you guys go online and search for beam 189 uh, on Google. Once that's done, we'll click Apply. Now we have to apply distributed load between 2 and 3. So select again, box, click, drag up to point 0.3. OK. The value in between here is set at 50 kilonewtons, so 50 E3. Apply. Finally, the last distributed load between three and four. Again, select box three to four. Click OK. This value is set at 150 E3, 150,000. On the last uh, distributed load, we'll click OK. Go up to plots, multi plots, and now we've uh, clearly up applied all of our loads, boundary conditions, done all the meshing, and we're ready to solve.